Hey everyone, it's Brian with Two Turntables and a Guy. And what you're looking at right now is a Chauvet uh, Intimidator color. And I'm having a little bit of a problem with this light, and it's a, a problem that I've had on other light fixtures uh, with this type of power plug. So I just wanted to share a fix that I use uh, to correct this problem. Now the problem that I'm having with this fixture, and we'll see if you can see it here, is that the plug itself is loose in the socket, and as you can see, that light fixture is turning on and off as the cord wiggles. Well, we definitely don't want that, especially in the middle of a show. You don't want one of your cords to move for whatever reason and your light show to shut down on you. So, we have a fix for this. Uh, basically, this unit comes with this type of plug here that, uh, you know, you just plug right into the back and you remove it at the end of the day. And, and really, this is the problem here. It's the way that everything comes in contact with each other. There's a, there's a loose connection there and that's what's causing the unit to shut down. Now you can try to get replacement plugs like this. You can get them in just about any hardware store. Um, I found that sometimes it fixes the problems, but you know most of the times it doesn't. You get a new cord and you got the same problem. So what I do is I take the cord here and I take a standard roll of uh, electrical tape and what I do is I start it right up against the the top edge here of the plug wrap it around oh, once or twice and basically what that's going to do is that's going to firm up that socket for you so when you plug it in there's not as much wiggle room anymore so we went ahead and we wrapped it around a couple times now what we'll do is we'll try to plug it back in the fixture and see if that fixes the problem for us so far it's powered on we're going to let it run through its warm-up cycle and have the bulb come on and then we'll give it a wiggle and see if the unit still shuts down or if that has indeed fixed the problem. There we go. Light should be on. There we are. Now we take and we wiggle this. And you can see here, still have a little bit of a problem. So it took a lot more to get it to to kick in this time, but it's still an issue. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try wrapping one more time around. You want to try to start out small because if you put too much on, it's not going to fit in that socket anymore and you're going to wind up having to peel it off and starting all over anyway. So that's why we just kind of do a little bit at a time. Get it to where we need it to be. So it's a nice firm plug in there. And there we go. Now, as you could tell, the first time that I plugged it in there, it definitely took a little bit of effort. I probably could have taken a little bit of that tape off, but we got it to go in there. And the thing that I like about this now is even though it was a little bit of effort to get that plug in, it's nice and firm in there. You can still remove it at the end of the day, but uh, the unit's not turning off anymore, and you really don't have that wiggle room in there anymore. So just a quick fix if you have any lighting that has that type of a plug and you're having issues where it's just not staying plugged in, a quick fix with a roll of electrical tape uh, will firm up that socket, so hopefully you won't have any issues anymore. Hope that helps. Practice and enjoy.